Hey, what's up, guys? It's Toasted Toasted Tabletop Games. Today, I've got a Brothers War uh, booster bundle box or a fat pack, uh, whichever you prefer to call it. And uh, yeah, we're just going to jump straight into it here. I've been pretty excited for this set and I can't wait. Well, there's a handful of things that I want out of this. Um, I'm pretty sure anyways. <laughs> I know I looked at the whole thing, like the whole uh, set on my own but I wasn't really sure what things in particular that I wanted the most out of it. That being said though, um, still pretty still pretty excited for this. So, you know, I'm sure we'll get some cool stuff. So uh, in the box, we got this um, like poster, or kind of, oh, whoopsies, a, a recruitment style poster for like uh, Drizza and Misha respectively. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I put these on my walls, so I appreciate those things. And then we have the box itself, right? So we, inside we have this huge uh, punch out thing for like counters and dividers and whatnot. I personally don't super care for these, so I don't keep them. Uh, I say that's what dice are for, right? So <laughs> in, uh, in here, got a couple of things. So we've got our spin dial with the Brothers War logo on there, let me focus up. Pretty cool. The Brothers War uh, set symbol. And then we have a handful of stuff. So we should have eight packs. Yep. yep. Okay, so we got eight packs. Um, we have some information cards, which I I don't think you guys need or I need. And then we have some extra stuff in here. So let's check this one out first. I think this one has, this one's got something in it. I think it's this, it's either the land pack or the one with the transformer in it. I'm pretty sure it's the transformer one because I think I saw through it already. So yeah, uh, we got Blaster, the combat DJ. He's a 3-3 for three and red and green. And we can cast him for his uh, converted for one in uh, red and green. Other non-token artifact creatures and vehicles you control have modular one. And whenever you put one or more 1-1 one, one counters on Blaster, you convert him. Whoop into uh, Blaster, the morale booster. And he's got modular three, and then for X and tapping him, we can move X one one counters from Blaster onto another target artifact and it gains haste until end of turn. If he has no one one counters on it, he converts. It, it can be only sorcery. Cool. So we got that going for uh, uh, that promo transformer card, I guess. And then we have like a little land pack. So moving on, moving on from the land, since I don't think we need to talk about those. We got the um, another little thing here. Let's see what this is. Okay, so we've got a bunch of hollow for it, a hollow lands, and we also have a uh, retro frame uh, card of uh, Quayla, uh, ooh, Queen Kayla Bin Krug. And she's a legendary human noble for one. That one is a little displaced out at the center there. Uh, red and white, and then for four and tapping her, we can discard all the cards in our hand and draw that many cards. You may choose an artifact or creature card uh, with mana value one. Uh, you discard it this way, and then do the same for artifact or creature cards with mana values two and three, and return those to the battlefield. Which I think this could be pretty cool, because you can just like have like a, uh, a handful of like really small creatures and then just dump all of them onto the battlefield, which is pretty funny. So we'll set her there, and then we'll get into the packs. So hopefully we get some cool stuff. Hopefully the other half, like all the melt stuff, I need the other half of Urza still. So here's our art card. We've got a full art uh, foil mountain there. Then we got, nice and focused up here. We've got uh, Penragon Strongbull, Airlift Chaplain, Goring Warplow, Thopter Architect, Suchi Cave Guard, which I, th I think this card's really neat since it uh, does what the, uh, like the, uh, what the Suchi did uh, way back in Alpha or uh, Revised or whatever set, where it just dies and you add a bunch of mana, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, Falaji Vanguard, Levitating Statue, Swiftfoot Boots, the Retro Frame, Swiftfoot Boots with the Schematic, and we had an Arcane Proxy. So we can cast it for Prototype for one and two blue, and make it a two one, or we can cast it for seven and be a four three, with when Arcane Proxy enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you exile target instant or sorcery card from uh, with mana value less than or equal to Arcane's uh, Arcane Proxy's power from your graveyard. Copy that card and can cast it. Cast the copy without paying the mana cost. So it's like a worse um, 
Snapcaster Mage almost. We got a Hollow Bitter Reunion and a Priest of Gix. Uh, reprint here. Pretty cool. We'll set our reprints over here somewhere. All right, moving on. Okay. Got our art card of Ashnod's Altar. An island. Got uh, Gix's Caress. Burrowing Razor Maw. Ambush Paratrooper. Ashnod's Intervention. Giant Growth. Defabricate. Go for the Throat. Slagstone Refinery. Spring Leaf Drum with the Retro of Art. Harbin, the Vanguard at Aviator. He's a 3-2 of flying for white and blue, and whenever you attack with five or more soldiers, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, gain flying until end of turn. Very cool. We have a Yoshin Frontliner Hollow and a 1-1 one, one Soldier Token. All right. Got our art card. Forest. We've got Combat Courier, Gixian Infiltrator, Retrieval Agent, Boulder Branch Golem, Desert, uh, Great Desert Prospector, Giant Cindermaw, Gurgling Anointer, Yoshin Tactician, Ornithopter with Retro Frame, uh, Mechanized Warfare. If red or artifact source uh, you control would deal damage to an opponent or permanent an opponent controls, it does that much damage plus one. That's not super impressive, but now uh, maybe, maybe some decks would care about that extra. I uh, got Warlord's Elite Hollow and a uh, token uh, punch out card. About halfway through all of our packs here. You got a Urza art card. Got a Mountain. We've got our Dredging Claw, Hoarding Recluse, Gixian Skull Flare, Rust Goliath, Spotter Thopter, Hornstone Seeker, Hulking Metamorph. Mishra Excavation Prodigy, Soul Guide Lantern, the Retro Frame. Ooh, here we go. Nice Mythic. I think it's the first one for today that wasn't guaranteed. So we got Sahili, Phil Dream Master. And um, for plus one, we can scry one. We can tap an untapped artifact we control and draw a card. For minus two, we can create two one one colorless Thopter artifact creature tokens of flying and they gain haste until end of turn. And then for minus four, we get an emblem with artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and artifact spells you cast cost one less to cast. Pretty cool. All right, then we got a uh, reconstructed Doctor Hollow, and a soldier token. Got an art card there. Hollow Swamp. All right, we got Fog of War, Power Stone Engineer, uh, Pentagon Strongbowl, Airlift Chaplain, Going Warplow, Gaia's Courser, Involuntary Cooldown, Calamity's Wake, Sigil of Vower, uh, what, Retro Frame, Mishra's Command. I'm getting a lot of repeats from the other video. We got uh, Choose Two for Red and X. Yeah, uh, choose a target player and they discard up to X cards and then draw a card for each card discarded this way. Deal X damage to your target creature, X damage to your target planeswalker, or target creature gets plus X plus zero and gains haste till end of turn. Oh, here we got a second one. Second one. Here we go. Hostile negotiations, uh, hot foil. So we got um, exile the top three cards of your library in a face down pile and then exile the top three cards of your library in another face down pile. You look at the cards in each pile and turn a pile of your choice face up. An opponent chooses one of those uh, piles and put that pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard and lose three life. Then we've got a Toy Maker reprint. So for one and tap it, uh, we discard a card from your hand and a target non-artifact, uh, non-creature artifact becomes an artifact creature. Power top is equal to its converted mana cost on a turn. Pretty cool. And moving on. Still got a little bit more to go. Our mountain. All right, we got Tano's Tinkering, Aeronaut's Wings, Thraxademon, Stone Retrieval Unit, Hero of the Dunes, uh, Mask of the Jade Crafter, Static Net, 
Oh, Jetfire, Ingenious Scientist. So for four and blue, we can get a three, four flyer and we can cast a converted for three and a blue. We can remove one or more one, one counters from among artifacts we control and target player adds that much colorless mana. And it can't be uh, spent to cast non-artifact spells. And then we can transform him into Jetfire, Air Guardian. And as long as it is your turn, he's a vehicle. Uh, the, the vehicle is also a creature. Uh, it's got flying and for three blue, we can convert it and adapt three. So we'll put three one one counters on it if it has no one one counters. And then he could flip back over. Pretty cool. Uh, I, I was excited to get these baubles again. We got Mishra's bobble. These are all great in a, all the bo both the baubles are good in Commander. So we sacrifice it and look at the top card of a target player's library and draw a card at the beginning of the next turn. Uh, next turn's upkeep. Pretty good zero drop artifact. Got Kayla's command. We're gonna for one and two white. We're gonna choose two. We're gonna create a two two colorless construct or construct artifact creature token. Put a one one counter on a creature we control and it'll gain double strike. So on a turn, search our library for a basic planes and put it in our hand or and gain two and scry two. Cool. And then we got a Falaji Chain Dancer Hollow and an advertisement card. A signed art card there. Island. All right, got Epic Confrontation, Supply Drop, Stern Lesson, Fog of War, Mass Production, Battlefield Butcher, uh, Arbalist Engineers, Thopter Mechanic. All right, quite a spike in the retro frame too. So equipped creature has death touch and then whenever equipped uh, creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half their life rounded up. Pretty cool. Then we've got the Stasis Coffin. So uh, for three mana, we get a legendary artifact that has two and tap it. We exile the Stasis Coffin and we gain protection from everything until your next turn. Pretty cool. And then we've got a hollow iron claw crusher and a uh, represented, like double sided uh, token represent representation thing. <laughs> I never, I can't remember what they're called ever. They're just blank tokens to me that I get to write on every once in a while. All right, got an art card, mountain. We got Dwarven Forge Chanter, Weak Stone Subjugation. Veterans Power Blade, Tomical the Scrapsmith, or Tom, Tom, Tomical Scrapsmith, apologies, Urza's Rebuff, Symmetry Matrix, Mass Production, Skyfisher Spider, Soul Guide Lantern, a Steel Seraph. For six, we get a. Oh, well, first of all, we can cast it for prototype for one and two white. It'll be a 3-3 flyer, but we can cast it for 6, and it'll be a 5-4 flyer. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gains your choice of flying, vigilance, or lifelink. It's on a turn. It's pretty good. That's a really good uh, card, actually. Then we've got Prison Sentence Hollow and a Power Stone token. And that's all of the stuff out of this box. So we did get some We did get some cool stuff. Um, we got two... Let's see, yeah. Oh, no, we got, we got a couple of mythics, actually. We got three mythics in total out of this uh, box that weren't, uh, te technically weren't guaranteed. Um, and we had a bunch of cool rares, too. So, got Sahili, uh, which I got in the last video, which is cool. I think I had Arcane, Pro Arcane Proxy in the last video as well. And most of this stuff is, uh, is new uh, for me anyways. But, uh, yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in there. And uh, that's kind of all for today's video, so... Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I hope uh, follow me on my socials, such as Tabletop Games on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. And uh, as always, follow me. Good lord. <laughs> Whew. That's the end of the video. That's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one.